Yeah. Tell me the story again. Tell me the story again. <laughs> okay, that time, that's why I knew all the good people. That time, there was a Bernardino Fiesta, we come to Coro, me and John and the car in the middle of the fiesta. As soon as we got in there, a squealer and his friends, Pachucos, they came over and they started talking, going to his house, and all of a sudden, he cut Toby from him. And Toby was his friend, Toby was going around with his daughter, hmm. with his sister. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so we got in a fight, and uh, the one that was with me, Joe, and Gonzalo, he was good for the rock. He can go to the rock and joke with the other one. And then they all got out of the car a whole bunch. And, and when they went back, no, I went to my car when they seen me with my gun. They took off and got in the car, and they went up. And when I shouted, they stopped. And they stopped there. And then I went over there, and when, when, when the squealer, and he, even the father was with him. And uh, when the squealer, I, all I remember that he was in the back seat with a knife, and uh, and, and and I kicked, I kicked him, and I guess he cut himself with a knife or I don't know what happened. So they took off, and they went to the house, and I went over there looking for him at the house. Why I wanted to kill the Salvador was pendejo, and no, he was hiding. So then, um, in no time, uh, Detective Tomas Torres, he was a big guy from San Antonio, I knew him. And he went over there and, uh, to, our, to see what happened. Mm -hmm. They sent me over here because uh, Freddy, her mama, the squealer, he's in, the, in jail, he's pretty sick. Uh, what happened? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, no, you know what uh, Flaska told me, the sheriff? I wish, I wish he would have killed him, because they didn't want to squeal him. Because I wish, he wished I would have killed him. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they didn't arrest me, took him. So then, it, it, when I waited, they had to go to court. The guy squeal was there. And uh, they told me, no, they bailed him up. They just released him. Who? Oh, Edward Castillo. And Thomas went and, uh, yeah, well, they were friends before, uh, whatever it is. And uh, what happened that day there, I don't know. So he, Thomas released him. Huh. Okay. So then uh, he was uh, a squealer, but he was a son, but for some reason, the old Pachucos from Varela, they didn't like him too much, but still he had his gang. And then, Oh, and Herman, the top of Herman was getting his wife after a squid, Herman, <laughs> but he didn't know about these things. And so, so, so from there on, I remember that we went to a convention, me and Della, to a big convention uh, party, and when everything finished, everybody's coming down, equal, the hate comes, and that side of the other, we do nothing. And then another day, when we were going on Central Street, he used to cross the street. So I, I called him, I told him, why do you cross the street over there? I said, I'm afraid of you. I'm more afraid of you, I told him too. Oh, they go, oh no, it's okay, I said. We shake hands, I said, that was it. 